Hi everyone, this is Quincy Cheng from CyberArk. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to implement a zero trust approach to securing cloud workloads and secrets at scale using the CyberArk Identity Security Platform. We have a few objectives. Your organization can enforce strict controls over cloud resources. Access is granted, audited, and monitored automatically, ensuring full governance and control over your environments. CyberArk Identity Security Platform acts as a centralized policy decision point, providing policy enforcement points for maximum security. The CyberArk Identity Security Platform verifies every user's identity, ensuring that they are who they claim to be through strong, contextual, risk-based authentication. It also validates every device, reducing the attack surface by only allowing registered devices with a good security posture to access resources. The platform intelligently limits privileged access, granting access only when necessary and revoking it immediately afterward. Furthermore, the CyberArk Identity Security Platform not only secures human access, but also application identities. Lastly, it should be noted that enforcements must be applied at scale, covering a large number of workloads and identities managed with any tools. Native user experience with a minimal learning curve should be provided for everyone involved. Now, let's examine what a successful enforcement of human access to cloud resources might entail. For our first demonstration, we will provision cloud resources, such as AWS EC2, with cloud native user experience, while simultaneously enforcing secure access and controls automatically. Users can create an AWS EC2 instance via the AWS Management Console. After the instance is ready, the user will receive an email with instructions on how to connect to it. Using native protocols such as SSH, the user can access the instance and execute privileged commands using sudo. Now let's see it in action. To create an AWS EC2 instance, the user can simply provide essential information such as names, image and instance type, and network-related settings. If the user prefers, they can leave the default settings as is. Once the user clicks the Launch Instance button, an EC2 instance will be created. A few moments later. The user will receive an email with instructions on how to connect to the instance, which involves copying and pasting the provided SSH command. After entering their password and completing multi-factor authentication, users can access the instance with native user experience. To execute privileged commands, users can simply use the sudo command as they normally would. All the user experience shown in the demonstration are enabled by CyberArk Identity Security Platform. Behind the scene, security controls and settings are automatically enforced. A minute before we continue, let's take a pause and analyze the different environments and use cases you might have, since it is important to understand what method should apply to what use cases in a way we can achieve the goal of reducing risk, improving security, satisfying our end users and other stakeholders. We are starting with services running in the cloud, all the native services that are provided by the cloud service providers, CSPs. Each of the three major CSPs now have hundreds of services and provide granular native controls to each of those services. There are now over 30,000 entitlements across AWS, Azure, and GCP. In other words, that is the front door to the cloud environment, the cloud console and CLI. 
The method in this case need to be zero standing privilege, and we will see what it means and how it is implemented. Second, we have workloads running on the cloud, like VMs and DB. These workloads take advantage of cloud flexibility, elastic compute, which auto-scales fleets of instances up and down based on demand. In this case, the best method is a dynamic access based on attributes that is provisioned just in time. Third, are the lift and shift applications running in a VM on the cloud, usually running different applications that each has its own security model. Therefore, in this case, access will be using local users, and therefore, since such applications can be critical to the organization, access needs to be isolated and credentials should to be vaulted. And last, but not least, every organization, every customer, uses sensitive third-party SaaS applications, business or technical applications, and any access to such application needs to be protected and monitored. So, with let's start and drill down and understand what are the options for each layer. First, the user needs to access EC2 service in AWS via AWS Management Console. This requires native zero standing privilege access. To better understand what zero standing privilege means, let's first take a look at standing privilege. Standing privilege refers to always on, always privileged access. While they can be useful in break glass scenarios and system access, they pose significant risks if used for daily operations. To mitigate these risks, it is recommended to secure them using PAM. The concept of least privilege, also known as just enough access, is an essential information security principle in which a user or an application is granted only the minimum levels of access or permissions required to perform their job functions. To implement this principle, it is crucial to regularly review all permissions and entitlements and strategically remove excessive permissions for cloud workloads. On the other hand, just-in-time provides real-time elevation of privileges for both human and non-human users to perform necessary tasks in an application or system. This approach offers elevated and granular privileged access, but only when needed during a pre-approved access window. The permission is removed when no longer required. Zero standing privilege access builds upon all the controls we have described, in addition to utilizing role-based or attribute-based access control from the cloud service providers. This approach minimizes the attack surface while maintaining productivity at the same time. Zero standing privilege access allows users to access the cloud console with ease by simply clicking on the CyberArk Identity User Portal and selecting the required role. Additionally, step recording and session protection can be enforced to enhance security. With support for both web and CLI access, users can maintain their productivity by using their preferred tools. After the cloud resource is created, a cloud service provider sends an event-driven alert to the CyberArk Identity Security Platform. In this demonstration, the event sent from AWS EventBridge and SNS as a webhook triggers CyberArk Identity Flows. Identity Flows analyses the event details and applies updates to the cloud resources and their settings according to the defined automation workflow. After the changes are made, an automated email alert with resource and user-specific instructions is sent. Identity Flows provides a low-code visual editor with a drag-and-drop interface, as well as pre-built and custom connectors that allow you to connect with external applications. This enables organizations to easily customize workflows and align them with their business needs. Application secrets are required for the automation workflows to communicate with cloud service providers. Conjure Cloud from CyberArk Identity Security Platform is used to simplify the process of securing non-human identities for workflows. Once the email notification is sent, the user can securely access the cloud resource with dynamic, just-in-time access. This approach grants the user the required privileges to complete their tasks, but only within their allotted access window. By doing so, it maximizes security and minimizes potential risks. The CyberArk Identity Security Platform provides dynamic privileged access, which allows for the elevation and provision of just-in-time privileged access. 
access is authorized using attribute-based access control policies based on tags assigned to target machines. This approach ensures that only authorized users can access specific resources, further enhancing security measures. All ephemeral sessions are fully isolated to prevent the spread of malware, adding an extra layer of protection to the system. Executing privileged commands is a common occurrence in daily operations. To ensure centralized policy controls based on user identity and assets, the CyberArk Identity Security Platform leverages the Endpoint Privilege Manager. With Endpoint Privilege Manager, resources can be secured by unprivileging attackers, thereby minimizing the risks associated with privileged access. This approach helps to enhance the overall security posture of the organization, while ensuring that daily operations can continue uninterrupted. We have examined how the CyberArk Identity Security Platform implements zero trust for human access to cloud workloads. What about application secrets? In the second demonstration, we will showcase how to secure secrets created directly on the secrets management feature from cloud service providers. During this demo, the user creates a secret in AWS Secrets Manager directly, using native zero standing privilege access to the AWS Management Console through secure cloud access from the CyberArk Identity Security Platform. With AWS EventBridge and SNS triggering the event, an automation workflow from Identity Flows is activated. Identity Flows then onboards the secrets to CyberArk PAM, Privileged Access Management. In conjunction with Secrets Hub from CyberArk Identity Security Platform, secrets can be managed in the cloud through a single pane of glass. All changes made to the secrets in PAM will be automatically synchronized back to AWS Secrets Manager. This approach enables the development team to secure applications and continue working natively in the cloud without impacting workflows. It provides a native cloud experience and immediate use of secrets without the need to change tools or engage in extra development. The security teams can access all cloud application secrets through a single pane of glass, govern secrets from CyberArk Identity Security Platform, determine password rotation schedules and retrieval, and a unified audit, access control, and administration system. Now let's see it in action. We can click on the store a new secret to get started. Let's choose a generic type of secrets and fill in the secret value as key value pair. The naming convention of the secret is based on the recommendation from cloud service provider. We will keep all other settings at their default values. Once we click the store button, this secret will be immediately ready for use. One minute later. Let's review the secret. One notable change is the addition of new tags, indicating that this secret is now secured and managed by the CyberArk Identity Security Platform. If we take a closer look at CyberArk Privilege Cloud, we can see that a new safe has been created with the onboarded secret. Additionally, the secret name from AWS Secrets Manager is automatically configured for synchronization by Secrets Hub. As part of CyberArk Identity Security Platform, all the synchronization activities are available in the Unified Audit Service. With CyberArk Identity Flows, organizations can easily adjust and customize workflows based on the business needs. In summary, the CyberArk Identity Security Platform provides a secure and automated way to enforce zero trust on cloud workloads and secrets at scale. By leveraging the various features of the platform, organizations can enhance the security posture and minimize the risks associated with both human and application identity. This is Quincy Cheng from CyberArk. Thank you for watching.